Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to use full power from your Ina iChill Frostbite video card. This is very good video card, but unfortunately from the factory it's locked by the power limit settings. We will unlock it to full limit. So first you need is the cable which will use all pins from the power supply and secondly you will need to download the new video BIOS and the third you will need a program to flash this BIOS to your video card so let's do it to flash the card you will need special software utility from Inno3D called TuneIt you can download it from their website. Use the latest version. So here is the address. Just download it. I've already done it. So you get the file and install it. Then search for the bias of Galax uh, bias over than 60 watt. So here's an example of search you'll find it here download it don't be afraid it's from a different manufacturer it works perfectly then run the utility from inner 3d So, yeah, and they've got flash BIOS update, press yes, please save your current BIOS, just to make it sure, in case something goes wrong, you can reflash your card back to the stock settings, and yes, uh, so what you are doing now it's on your own risk so you should select flash bias select that file you've downloaded and press open I've already done it so I'm not going to use it uh, to do this procedure once again I will skip it just what you will have in the end uh, then they will be assigned to uh, reboot your system everything will work including uh, LED lights of your video card the vendor however will be changed from INA to GALAX uh, the video drivers will be installed once again but it will be like same card it's like uh, unbranded. It was unbranded and it's still unbranded. So I also overclocked uh, the card. So these are the settings. Memory, boost clock. I will show you. So also, please uh, turn on to the maximum core voltage, power limit, temperature limit. And yeah, I would like to say I've got custom loop set up with external uh, coolant chiller, which is like a fridge. So I've got uh, a good system. If your system uh, cannot chill to the like uh, low temperatures uh, do less uh, aggressive settings please so these are megahertz for the core for the video card and for memory so after these settings everything should be saved 
uh, shut down your computer and install the cable which will allow you to uh, utilize maximum from the power supply. I will show you an example. So this is the kind of the cable I got. I am using uh, Corsair power supply, so that worked for me. So actually, the cable choice fully depends on what what power supply you have. But this cable definitely enables all these pins in to use maximum power of the video card. Later on, I will run two games, uh, Cyberpunk, on 6K display, uh, HDR, it's the current one from Apple, I like it, and it works pretty alright in Windows, so like full settings, everything is on, Ah, uh, you, you'll see the details later. And Company of Heroes. So it was run on AMD Ryzen system and using 6K Apple XDR display. Let's see what was the performance of the video card. Look, that was during the test during the benchmark so high clock very stable one and what is it let's see the maximum clock so that was the maximum achieved during the benchmark the board power draw was uh, let's see it as well the maximum was 560 watts almost and the temperatures were not so bad they were quite low below 60 degrees for for the processor and as you 
you see? The card could have clocked even higher if it wasn't capped by the uh, video voltage uh, limit. That's the voltage supplied to the vi uh, video processor. Now I will run Company of Heroes benchmark. Here are the results. And let's see how the graphics card was utilized during this test. Apparently this is the test. Let's see the maximum clock. Same as in Cyberpunk. Quite stable. GPU temperature was below 40. Board power draw. Let's ha have a look. Wow. 600 watts. Maximum. That's even more for than for Cyberpunk. In fact, in some tests I've achieved uh, and reached uh, 680 watts with this video card and with this uh, video bias. So this is very uh, power hungry uh, video card and so that, that proves uh, other reviews that it can really <coughs> push very hard on, on your power supply and on the cables. Again voltage limited so it could have clocked higher, but limited to the settings. So I would like to show you that the power draw of the video card can sometimes reach up to 7 watts. Slightly below. One of our forward buildings. the maximum clock and board power draw 
you see the maximum was nearly 700 watts that's amazing the temperature the temperature however maximum was 40 degrees and again mostly voltage limited only in some instance power limited I guess where it was uh, nearly 700 watts on spikes this is it I hope you like the review and you can give it a try at your own risk see you later